Hello, I'm Phil. Welcome to the Land Rover Suspension DVD. Over the next uh, hour or two, we're going to show you how to fit high lift shocks, springs, poly bushes, uh, oh, this lump, caster corrected suspension arms, um, these ones as well, caster corrected bushes in your old arms. Um, just about everything we can think of suspension wise really. By the time you've watched the DVD you will know exactly what to do. You'll even know the spanner sizes you need to do the jobs. Uh, and what's involved. Uh, some of it's quite heavy, pretty involved and probably watching this DVD will save you a lot of time. Maybe even a clump on the head from something you don't want to, you don't want to get hit by. So uh, let's have a look at what we're going to be fitting and go from there. Right, here's our collection of um, components we're going to be fitting on the motor. Fabulous, it's like Christmas opening it all up on the floor, I promise you. Great stuff, wonderful colours. Silver, blue, red, great. Right, okay. After you've got over the excitement of opening all your boxes, getting all the stuff on the floor ready to go, um, <coughs> you've got to think about what you've got. Set it all out, make sure you've got all your bits and pieces you need in the kit. We've got um, Terra Firma Pro Sport uh, Long Travel Shocks. Uh, everything here is plus two inches at the moment. We've got two inch springs, 50 mil lift springs uh, of the medium flavour. There is all sorts of flavours of springs and shocks. It's pretty much limitless, even up to nitrogen charged ones. These are the medium ones because this car's being used on um, Spanish4x4expedition.com. It's got to be motorway fit plus a little bit of off-road, do your rescue uh, duty and um, carry some kit as well, um, tow the trailers. So those are medium duty springs and you can get normal duty and heavy duty, those are medium. <coughs> Two inch extended shocks as well, poly bush um, anti-roll bar bushes at the back, I've got normal um, quite hard rubber bushes for the shocks. We've got dislocation or relocation, whatever you want to call them, cones for the rear springs. Down this up. And base plate clamp for the spring. Stop that going anywhere. So that's that. All nuts and bolts present, everything ready to go. It's going to look fabulous under there. I like the blue gaiters around the shocks as well, it's a nice colour. Heavy duty twin rear shock mounts. Now we're not fitting, we're not fitting these and leaving them on the car, but uh, we thought we'd uh, demonstrate them going on so you uh, can see what you've got to do. Smart looking bit of kit, that's the top mount, bolts to the car. This is the um, axle end. So we'll have a look at that, comes with a fitting kit. <coughs> nice set of coloured poly bushes for the radius arms. These are cranked radius arms, the rear ones. Look quite smart as well, anodised. They fit in there with the sleeve, so we'll fit there. Don't look too difficult, but uh, if we come across any issues, we'll um, point them out to you so that I have the problems rather than you. Don't forget to watch the whole video before you go ahead and do yours. Okay, let's rattle on with the list. Bump stop spacers. Nice simple bit of kit. Self-explanatory. Lift in the car up two inches, put the bump stop down two inches so your shocks don't bottom out. Right, next, rear radius arm, front end bushes, different colours for different grades from Polybush, and we will talk about that as we go. The man from Polybush sent us down, told him what we was going to do, and uh, <coughs> sent us down the right colour for the job, so uh, I'll, explain that as, I'll explain what he explained to me as we go. Right, front arms. Different colour, different grey po uh, poly bush for the back end of that. Smart bit of kit. These are the Terra Firma cranked ones. They're already um, adjusted for the two inch lift. Two inch lift is just about when you start to um, change the angles of your front axle. I'll explain that as we go. These are the um, <coughs> cost of correction bushes if you're using your original arms. You can see it's off centre. I'll show you the picture. See it's off centre. So uh, we'll explain that as we go, so we're going to stick them in the old arms. Bump stop spaces for the front, same as the rear. And nice looking uh, bit of kit there. Twin shock mount for the front. That's the upper bracket, replaces the old turret, and this is the bottom mount. 
So we'll uh, fit them and film every detail so you know exactly what you're doing before you start on yours. Heavy duty top, <coughs> top ring, mounting ring. You'll see this all as it goes on the car. And uh, front dislocation, relocation cones. Fits well. So that's that. We'll cover that in detail as well and give a demonstration of what happens where and how. <coughs> Another spring clamp to hold the uh, <coughs> one end of the spring down. Front springs, we're doing a 110 I should say, so the, the rear springs are considerably uh, more meaty than the front ones. These are 50mm, same as the others, lovely colour again, smart looking bit of kit. Same shocks for the front, Pro Sport Long Travel, love the blue gator, it's going to look smart on there. Be even better when, uh, when we've got two together, mm -hmm. it's on the front. Push is for all of them. Um, We've got uh, poly bushes to go in the already uh, caster corrected arms, so they go in there nice and easy. Hopefully, a bit of grease, we'll get round that. Any problems, we'll let you know. And the last few details for the front are just over there on the floor in front of the uh, plastic bag is panel broad bushes. So you see what we've got? Loads of stuff, loads of details to cover. It's about to be a Frankly, a few problems that we can um, get round on tape, save you some time and some bother. So, I'll get the car lifted up and we'll, uh, we'll crack on. Back in a sec. Right, I've got the old go up in the air. Um, a lot easier with the wing off and the inner wing off, um, especially with the camera. So, it's uh, much easier for us to get on all the nuts and bolts, a good shot of everything. So, uh, that's why that's off, looks good. Right, okay, a little bit about safety first. Um, first things first, do not just release the shock absorber before you get started and prepared on anything else because the shock absorber limits and stops the axle from moving down and the spring pushing the axle down. So if you just undo that bolt, all the weight of the axle and any pressure in the spring is just gonna push the axle, just gonna push the whole lot whack straight down in your so uh, you will get hurt. <coughs> Has to be supported. So um, what we do is we lift it up. I'll show you where to. Um... Doesn't like lifting three times a land over. Right, that good. Quick, uh, quick mention of where to support it. If you're doing the front axle stand, just under there. Make sure you've got nice access for this uh, big nut here, if you're doing the radius arm. <clears throat> and that's it really, you can lift it up underneath the diff, especially if you put a block of wood there, or you can lift it up one side at a time on that. Um, anywhere else you're comfortable lifting really, just make sure you've got axle stands under the chassis so that's supported, because you'll need your jack, jack to take the weight of the axle. Um, and that's it really, you're only going to do one side at a time. So. I'll drop the car back down to a uh, sensible height and we'll get undoing that some bolts. <laughs> 